So I got a digital camera and I started to have this problem of what do I do with all my photos? So I took a lot of pictures of my cat because I don't have a kid. So I have all these pictures, but what the hell do I do with all these pictures? Right? So everyone has this problem now. So you know, how do you share them with for your friends? You can upload some to Facebook, but you can only upload you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 photos. You know, what are you going to do if you have 5,000? What do you do if you have 50,000 photos? How do you share them with people? So I started looking to these things called uh, photo collages. So this is not going to work. Uh, let me see if I can do something better than this. Take your photos, and you can drag and drop them into the into this program. So I can add photos to the collage that I want. Um, if I want to take this entire folder of photos, I can just grab the entire thing and add it here. So that's 150 photos that I've added to the collage. Now let's say what do I want to do with them? Let's say let's put them in the shape of a heart. Just we, let's be sappy. Click the single button called Create. Let's save it to my desktop. And in about 30 seconds, it's automatically going to take the photos, <coughs> arrange them into the shape of a heart, and render the collage. It starts going. <coughs> a bunch of stuff running the computer. But the idea is that you can make these collages really quickly. Uh, with That was like three mouse clicks, right? And then you can take this image, and you can upload it to Facebook. You can print it out as a calendar, mug, t-shirt. Uh, print it out as a giant poster. You can frame it. You can give it to your significant other. Do whatever you want with this. Right, so this is almost done, and it's fully rendered. So this is, you know, it's uh, about a five megapixel image, and so you can print this out at 300 dpi, and it's full full quality. It shows up there, so we can zoom in. Come on, bubble or beach ball. Right, so we have a full full resolution image that we can do anything we want with. Uh, we can do other things too, so we can say, you know, we can say U of T, and, you know, the program doesn't care. It'll take the photos and spell out U of T if you want. You can change the font, you can do whatever you want. Um, you can, you know, make your own shape if you want to draw something. <laughs> and it's really simple. It'll just do anything you give it, basically. Computer's a little slow today. So you get the idea. But what I can do as well is I can actually save this to a Photoshop PSD format. So if I don't like uh, if I don't like the automated thing, it'll actually put it into a Photoshop format where each file or each photo is in its own layer, and then you can edit the collage as much as you want. So it's, it's going to take a little bit longer. I have to load up Photoshop, but you get the idea. I'll show you the demo in a second. Uh, so what the hell do you do with all this stuff? Right? So I can give you some ideas, but what people are doing now is that they're making, <coughs> making cards. They're making, this is really slow today, uh, pamphlets for high school reunions, making farewell banners. That was up in the Firkin, actually, if you guys know where that is. Uh, people are making artworks. This is one of our users' face. He took his face as the shape, and it just so happened that his photo of his face, half of it was dark and the other half wasn't. So it put photos where it's really dark up there, so you can't see it. But it looks cooler when it's not so dark. Um, this is a giant billboard in Thailand that used my software. They took photos of nurses, doctors, hospital staff, put it in the shape of the island Phuket, because the, this is the Phuket International Hospital. Uh, if you heard of Smashing Magazine, the website, which is a premier website for graphic design, uh, they published a book in December of 2009, and they used my software in their book so they can represent a lot of images without wasting a lot of space. Uh, Nonprofit organizations are using this in their promotional material to put a personal face on their uh, on their organization, and teachers are using it in the classroom to you know, get people excited about school topics. So here's uh, 
Here's that PSD file. Let's see if it loads up with a reasonable amount of time. <coughs> this is demo camp. I'm trying to incorporate more demos as opposed to just PowerPoint. But it's not working very well. But anyways, you can download the software at uh, sub shapecollage.com. Uh, we've already had 3 million downloads of the software in the past year and a half from 200 countries. So things have uh, taken off pretty, pretty well. Um, and I've entered a bunch of business plans and things like that. So if you go to the U of T website right now, I'm on the, I'm on the news section of that right now, if you want to take a look. Anyways, that's going to continue loading. Right, so 3 million dollars, 200 countries, and I'm making money, $650,000 a year. Uh, not bad for a student uh, company, and every month is better than the previous month. Filed a patent on this technology, and it's so enticing that companies are approaching me because they want this stuff. They say, we want to be able to enable this stuff for our users to make. So I've already signed a license agreement with Photobox and talking with other companies as well. Uh, I'm going to blast through some of this stuff. If you guys have questions about the business model, it's basically a freemium business model. So there's that desktop software I showed you has a free version. It's translated into 20 different languages now, Mac, Windows, Linux. Uh, if you want the full version of the software, which doesn't have a watermark, and which has the Photoshop export and all these other things, it's $25 for personal users. So about one out of 100 people, so about 1% will buy it, which isn't a lot, but I throw millions of people at the product, and I throw millions more. And there's also the license side of things. So there's one other cool thing I want to show you. I'm trying to be too ambitious for this computer today. So there's also an online version, Facebook versions, and uh, beach ball everywhere. So what you can do is you can actually uh, just give it a website, and it'll scrape all the photos from that website, and then create a collage from that. Right online. So I'm not going to attempt to make one because I only keep doing those beach balls. But you can actually make them from your Facebook photos. Again, just two clicks. So if your photos are not on, uh, on your desktop, but they're on somewhere else, then you can grab them. So once you generate this collage online, so this is what the website looks like. Right. This is what the website looks like. After, if you create an online collage, you can actually interact with them. So what it is, is just an uh, HTML image map put on top of this because I know where the images are. And I just link to the images and use some jQuery stuff so that you can actually mouse over it. I can actually click on this and it'll blow up the whole image. Um, but it's kind of a cool way to kind of browse these things. Uh, the Photoshop thing is kind of done now. <coughs> and There's supposed to be layers here. Anyways, each photo is in some layer, and you can do some cool things with this as well. So I can just grab an image and move it around. So I can do all, all sorts of different things if I want to customize this image for the... So, you get the idea. Um, going pretty long, so that's probably about it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, just feel free to ask them.